Welcome everyone to My AI Live. Today is Wednesday, November 15th. My AI Live. My AI Live. We, of course, will show you the, the amazing My AI system. We're also going to give you social media tips, tricks, answer your questions, show you new ways to build on social media by creating relationships that build your network, that create the opportunities that you need to build your business. So with that, we're going to start. First of all, if there's anybody, yay, Kelly, I'm so happy you're here. Okay. If there's anybody who's brand new, put a one in the chat. If you've been here before, or put a five. If you're still kind of like, I'm new, but I'm learning. I'm not, I'm still getting my footing. Put a three in the chat for me. So one fives and threes. So we've got some footing. Great. We've got Cheryl. She's all fives and she's all in. Randy's in. Keith's in. We've got Gail, who's brand new. Fantastic. Erica, who's brand new. Fantastic. Loving this. Okay. So with this, hey, Linda, there you are. So what I'm going to show you guys something brand new today. Okay. Something that's really neat, a neat way to use the AI and a neat way to connect with people that you may not actually be thinking about. So first, let me go. And for those of you who don't know me who are brand new, my name is Elizabeth Larson. I am a personal and business transformation coach and entrepreneur. I've built multiple businesses online utilizing social media and blogs. In fact, I've taught it from stages for over 10 years now. So I have really been honed in on this type of building for a long time. And I want to show you the things that have made us successful. So when Nailsite purchased contact mapping, we did these meetings, for Paul, every day for years, right? For several years, five days a week, we did these meetings. And what they did is they helped us get very consistent. And consistency is king in everything. Consistency is king in everything. You can eat lettuce for five days. And then if you go three days eating Snickers bars, I promise you, you're not going to be getting the results you want, right? So it's all consistency in a same type of habit. And that's what we're building here. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show you the Now AI system and a new way to use it, okay? So I try to do a different demo every single day so you think of different ways of utilizing it. After that, we're going to put up the five-minute timer. This is when you're going to go out and you're going to make your posts. And the reason for that is because if we put the timer up and get you into action, your posts are already done and you're creating conversations for the rest of the day. When we come back, we're going to showcase a couple of your posts and then we'll also have some Q&A. Now, we do have a hard stop because there's a meeting right after this. Cheryl will have a meeting, Cheryl Coco. Uh, VP of Marketing will have a uh, meeting showing you guys the rest of the Now Site platform. So websites, email, campaigns, and all of that. So Uzama, yay, you're here and you're driving. Very nice. Okay, so, and, and when you come five days a week, you're going to learn different things. So we do this every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific. I think that's 5 p.m. in Italy. Um, so, and, and really what it's going to do is help you get the consistency that you're looking for. So I'm going to share my screen. We're going to get started here. And first of all, we know that once you sign in, you are going to be here. So you're going to go, if you're brand new, you're going to go to now.site. That's now.site. And you'll sign up, for, you'll log into your account. And with that, you're going to see this right here. Now, if you haven't trained your AI yet, you're going to come over here to train my AI, and then you'll be able to do that. And it's going to ask you questions about, you know, what you what's important to you, what you need, uh, your writing style, the things that you like. And then once that's done, you're going to come over here to post to social media. And it's a three-step system, right? We post on social media, we comment on other people's posts and on the comments that people comment on ours, and then we reach out to our followers. So the first part of that, of course, is the social media part. We've got several different options. You can do caption with suggested image. Caption with suggested image, of course, is you know what you want it to say, you tell it what you want it to say, it's going to give you an image that matches that. Caption my image is one of the most popular ones. It's, you know, we've taken a selfie of ourselves, our food, anything else, and we know what the image is. So we're going to describe what the image is right here. We don't put the image into the AI system ever. It doesn't need to see the image. It just needs to know what we are telling it and then what the caption is going to be about. And then we also have caption my video, which is the exact same thing. 
It's not giving you a video. It's when we have our own video, you know, a TikTok, a reel, anything like that. We have short text only posts. These are fabulous. I love these. These are great for starting conversations very quickly through the comments on, on uh, Facebook. So things like, hey, tacos or burritos today. Uh, going to a city, what do you recommend I see? Where, what, uh, you know, anything like that. Very, very great way to start conversations very fast. Long post and suggested image. They should have just called this the Elizabeth button, right, Paul? Just put Elizabeth button. I love long posts because they give a lot of value. I love to give a lot of value through my social media. It's not all about me. It's about giving value to others. And so this is great, like three tips to better sleep, three tips to better packing, three tips to whatever. Uh, you can make a long post about the importance of mindset, any kind of long post. These are for Facebook or for LinkedIn. And you can also use this as a starting for a blog if you do a blog on your website. Last is surprise me. Surprise me is when you don't feel inspired. You're like, I have no idea what I want to post, but I know I have to stay consistent. Ask the AI to surprise you with post and you will stay consistent easily without having to put a lot of thought into it. So today what I want to do is I'm going to show you a little different way of doing this. And so I have to actually go over to Facebook first to show you this though. So is everybody okay if I show you a brand new way of using the AI? Everybody good with that? Okay. All right. So I'm going to come over here to my friends. And then I'm going to come over here to birthdays. Birthdays are a great way to begin to start to start um, conversations with people, especially when you haven't had conversations with them before, or it's been a very long time for conversations. So today, my friend Lauren is having a birthday. And then I these are all the rest of the birthdays today. Cindy Burdock, Shirley, Annie, Judy, look at all these birthdays. So, and then you've got recent birthdays. So maybe if you haven't done this already, you can go backwards with these birthdays as well. So yesterday was Maddie's birthday. So I'm going to do some things for her. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of neat things that you can do with this. First of all, you find out whose birthday it is. And then, of course, you want to go ahead and click on their profile. You want to go over to them. Okay, so here's, here's Lauren. And this is my friend. So it's her birthday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over back over to the now site, Pat. And I, if I have an image of Lauren and myself, I could use the image. If not, I can make like a birthday image and do a caption with suggested image and ask for a birthday image. Maybe you'll give me one. The other thing I really love to do on birthdays, if you really want to shine differently for people on their birthday and really get a connection and a conversation going, I'm going to actually tell you what I actually do. I take my phone and I turn on my camera video and I actually send them a video message. So I quickly say, I'll either sing happy birthday or I'll say, hey, Lauren, happy birthday. I just saw it was your birthday. I wanted to reach out to you and just personally wish you happy thing, happy birthday. Hope you're having an amazing day, my friend. Thank you so much for being in my life. I appreciate you. I love you. Have a great day in that. Now, this is a great and easy way of being able to create conversations because, Paul, if somebody sends you a birthday video, how different is that than all the other people that just make a little post on your thing? Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. How different is that? I usually save it somewhere. <laughs> See? And and is it easier for somebody to start a conversation with you when they've sent you a video for your birthday than just putting happy birthday on your wall? Absolutely. And when I do it, I usually sing them happy birthday and that just freaks them right out. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So here's the thing, everyone. I want you to go ahead and, and look on your birthdays today. Again, if you don't know where to look, you're going to come up to Facebook. You will go over when you're on the Facebook page. My internet is running really slow today, guys. Sorry about that. You're going to come over here to friends. And then under friends, you'll go to birthdays. And then you'll have all your birthdays there. Okay. So 
Try a birthday post today. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this. I'm going to show you one way of doing it and with a caption and suggested image. But if you have an image of the person or you have an image of you guys together or you do a video, it's much, much more powerful. But I do want to show you caption and suggested image just in case. So what do I want? The wishing happy birthday to my friend, mistyped friend, Lauren, she is, hey, come back, wishing a happy birthday to my friend, Lauren, she is 58 today. Okay. All right. All right. Now we're going to hit generate. When we hit generate, it's going to get remembered. Now it's looking for the way I write. It's looking for what I do. So it's going back through everything that I already put through it. It's looking for the types of posts I've already done. It's looking for all of that. And so I'm asking it, hey, write me wishing a happy birthday to my friend, Lauren. She's 58 today. So let's see. Happy 58th birthday to a, my, uh, to a remarkable friend, Lauren. Each year is a blessing and an opportunity for personal growth and renewal, like rene uh, overcoming my own fears. I have no idea. Let me try this again. So write me a post. And this is what I mean by prompts. When we talk about prompts, sometimes you don't get the very thing that you want the first time, and that's okay. Write me a post because I want to post it on my Facebook as well as send her a message. I'm going to do both. Write me a post to my friend, Lauren, wishing her a happy birthday. Okay, let's try it like that instead. Now, you can tell by prompts, it's a little different. And so if I'm going to make a post about my friend's birthday and send her a message, I could do it like this where I have both together. And I love to make posts on my uh, on my Facebook about other people's birthdays as well. It's just a neat way to shout them out and it makes them feel really special as well. So send them a message with a video or a photo and you can use your AI for that. I'm going to show you one other way to do that as well and then as the demo today. Okay. So today marks a special, a spectacular milestone for a truly remarkable friend. Happy 58th birthday, Lauren. Your grace and wisdom seem to only magnify with each passing year. Wishing you a day filled with love, joy, and kind, uh, and the kind of adventures that life's best chapters are made of. May this year bring you closer to your dreams, just like I inspire to reach mine of traveling the world to teach and train. Happy birthday, wisdom, and celebrate life. This is perfect. This is very much like the way I would talk. So again, I would press get started. I'm going to go over to the post. I'm on Facebook where she's at. It's going to download the Facebook image, which is fine. That's what I want. And now I'm going to click post and it's going to take me over there where I can actually copy and post it. So let's go ahead and we're going to hit create post. I'm going to copy that in there. Now, the options are I can go ahead and use the photo it gave me, or if I decided to, I could use one of her photos and just grab that, and then let's grab one of her photos or photos of Lauren. So I could go like this, grab a photo of her. So if I decide to use the suggested one, I can. I can also go and add the one of her instead. So you've got choices here. There you go. So there's the post about my friend's birthday. I can do that and then I can send her the message. Last thing I wanna show you on here is that when you come over here to, you can also do this and make it shorter. So when you come over here, you can make it shorter. If this is too long for you and you wanna make it a little shorter, you can do that as well. So what I want you to do is first, let's go ahead and do the five minutes. Now you can make a regular post if you want, but what I'm going to suggest is going and finding your birthdays. See if there's somebody on there who's recently had a birthday or who is having a birthday that you really care about and make a post on your Facebook about their birthday celebrating them. 
When you shout out people like that, it will create relationship in a way that nothing else will because people will feel the BLTSs, which is belong, love, trust, and safe. And when they start feeling that with you, you are going to dominate in your industry and business because people will want to be around you. So let's go ahead and get going. We're going to put the five minute timer up. Mark, you are a sight for sore eyes. I am so happy you are on here. I just saw you come on and I am excited to see you. Okay, let's do the five minutes and, and please try one birthday post and then do some regular posts as well. I want you to see some different ways of using this. Let's go ahead and share the timer and we're going to get going and then we'll come back and then we'll showcase some of your posts that you made. Let's go ahead and get going. Okay, let's see some numbers in the chat. How many posts did you do? One, two, three, four, five. How many posts did you get done? I want to celebrate you guys. So Kelly, brand new, did three. Joel got three done. Fantastic. One for Keith in Vegas. Fantastic. Peter did two. Uh, one for Linda. Fantastic. No birthdays. That's okay. No worries. And love that. And then let's get Ed in here. And I want to show you one other thing real quick. So let me grab this. And let me hit this right here. Objective birthday. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a message to somebody real quick. And I want to show you one other thing as well. And we're going to do some, um, some uh, posts. So. When you come over here to the Nail Site site, let me share my screen because I want to show you one other way to do this birthday thing. So when you come over here, I'm going to actually show you how I did this. So I was actually doing a personal message to her. Uh, happy 58th birthday, Lauren. Wishing you a day filled with laughter and joy that sets the tone for another fantastic year ahead. Let's celebrate soon. So when we're coming back, to the front page, if I come over here to reach out to my followers and build more relationships, I'm not replying to a po message, so I'm just going to put that there. But I am going to take the objective, and I can do birthday, anniversary, correct, congratulations, supportive, or condolences. Well, this is a birthday, and I am going to put Lawrence in there. So write me a personal message to my friend Lauren, wishing her a happy 58th birthday. I hit generate. And then what ends up happening is the AI is going to help me write that post, right? It's going to help me write that message. So I'm going to hit generate. Happy 58th birthday, Lauren. I hope today brings you hope of uh, heaps of joy and the coming year is filled with all kinds of amazing adventures. Remember, age is simply a number and you make it look fabulous, which she does. So then I can just clip it to the clipboard. I can go over to her Facebook and then I could just send her a message. I still cannot believe somebody actually made that post. Sorry, squirrel. All right, so let me go ahead and stop sharing if I can. Why can't I stop sharing those? So that is how to do a birthday post. You can do a birthday post on your wall and you can also do a message where you're sending the birthday thing. Now, here's the thing. Birthdays are a great time to actually really start some conversations with people. So you do not want to forget about birthdays. Utilize those to, to start the conversations that you need that will bring more business opportunities. Now, let's go over to Linda. Who wants to share some of their posts that they did today? I want you to raise your electronic hand and let me know that you want to share. And we're going to start off with Linda today. And nope, I still got Diana. All right, we're going to start off with Diana because the other one I can't pull up. So Diana, where are you at? Can you raise your digital hand, please? Where's Diana at? Go ahead and unmute Diana if you're here. There's Linda. Let's give you a shot. Okay, no, that that's me. And I had a question. That's why I raised my hand to share this. Okay. That's her birthday today. I put it on her wall because Okay. Um, yeah. So I that's the post that it gave me. I took a lot of it out because it was talking about me and it wasn't appropriate. So I have a couple of questions. Perfect. Um it, so since it's learning me 
and I copy what it gives me, but I edit it because I like some of it, but some of it just doesn't make sense. Right. Is it going to continue to give me that stuff that I don't want it to give me because I'm editing it out, but it doesn't know that, right? Right. It doesn't. So when you edit, if you come back over to, let me get a post up here. If you actually give it directions and edit it within there to give it directions that it makes the changes, it's going to learn. So let me get a post up here real quick. I'll just do a surprise me real quick. I'm going to share my screen. I'll show you exactly how to do this. Okay. So as it's pulling up a surprise me, and then my other question was, I was doing this for the, the assignment, right? Yes. Um, but I didn't want all of these birthday things on because I have quite a few of them. And there are some that I really would like to have on my page to highlight them because we right. do have a more of a connection. Right. Um. So because I don't want like birthday, birthday, birthday posts mm -hmm. on my page. That doesn't no. look right. Right. And, and here's the thing. Most of the time, most birthdays are not something you're going to post on your wall, but there are going to be occasions where it's somebody that's close to you, somebody, one of your team members, somebody that really has deep meaning to you. Those are the ones that you would do on your own wall, because Makes when sense. somebody sees yeah. that you're showcasing somebody else on your wall, first of all, it shows that you care about other people to the general feed that you're getting. But the other thing is, is that it's not just because I, if somebody posts a happy birthday on my wall, I'm getting 25 people that are posting on my wall. When somebody posts on their wall about my birthday and tags me in it and I see that, that's different. That showcases you as different. That starts a different level of conversation. Does that make sense? Totally. Yes. Okay. So here's where you're going to edit. If you come over here to the editor. You can go make it shorter, but you could also give specific instructions like uh, sometimes let's read this one. Sometimes the hustle and bustle align from the secret resonates deep within me. The only limit to your impact is your imagination and commitment. Tony Robbins, less than least your potential. OK, so here, maybe I take uh, Tony Robbins out of it, you know, for whatever reason. I, I it doesn't really matter. Uh, Rewrite this without Tony Robbins and then regenerate. Mm. If you do that there, then the AI is learning more about what you want and what you do not want. If you edit it on your Facebook and you're going to have little minor edits on your Facebook, but for bigger things where you're like, I don't want the AI to keep saying this, you want to edit right in here because then the AI will learn more about what you want. Does that make sense, Linda? Perfect. Yeah. Because I knew it wasn't learning that I don't want it to put all that stuff in there, but yeah, that's, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I know Vinny had a question too. So let's go, let me do Vinny's question. So the objectives list that I have doesn't include any that you showed us. Okay. Let me go back over here because you might be in a different area. So let's come back over here. And then when I come over to the front page, I'm going to click, I'm not clicking on comment on posts. This one right here is going to be different. So when I come over here, I'm clicking on reach out to your followers. And then the objectives are, are right here. So you should have uh, reply to, uh, and I'm not clicking any of these up here, type of message. Keep in mind, these have not been clicked at all. So I'm coming over here directly to object required and say birthday, anniversary, congratulations, supportive condolences. Let's say if I am commenting on a social post, it's going to make it look different. If I reach out to someone on there, it's going to make it look different again. If I do a cold reach out, the objective is going to be different. It's going to be, pre uh, you know, present, connect, follow up, book a meeting, because at a cold re reach out, if I don't know this person, the likelihood of me sending them a birthday wish is probably pretty slim. So if you're not seeing the birthday ones in there, start over from the beginning, just go and hit your, I don't know why is everything on my computer is running so slow. Don't hit any of these up here and then just come down here to objective and then you'll see all of those. So hopefully that answers your question, Vinny. All right, yes, let's perfect. go. Over. Was that it? Did you, did that work? Yes, perfect. Beautiful. Thank Thanks you. for thank you for your question. 
All right, let's go over to Soul. Hi, Soul. Hi, I'm Sole. Uh, Sole, I, it's beautiful. Finland. Where are I'm you from? Finland. Oh, beautiful name. I love that. Uh, I I was wondering because uh, the birthday posts, most of them uh, should be in Finnish. Uh, okay. Uh, can I change your language? I know that I can use Finnish language or uh, ask a translation, even though Finnish language is not one of... One of um, uh this uh programs uh languages yes. but it's it's it can uh, do in which um where do i do the translation can okay. i i do it in the middle somewhere so write it when you get the post right here and it writes it in english if you come over here to editor yeah and you click change language ah that's it these, yeah these are the I'm languages gonna... that are available super yeah it's not available there If it's oh. not available, then the only option that you have is to copy and paste it into Google Translate and translate it there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll get more languages as things are getting built out, but unfortunately, they don't have every language in there right now. So I would I would post it by hand then on on the. Yes, you would actually probably take it over to Google Translate it, translate it into Finnish if if that language is not in the AI yet. It's not, it's not yet yet. No. And and what you might do is send a send a um a request to support at now.site and ask them, can you please add that language that this is the language I need? And can you please add? I mean, that's how feature requests get made. People make yeah. the feature request and then you know they see if they can do them. So absolutely make those feature requests. Because for texts, I can I can tell that uh, you know. Please say uh, they uh, answer something. I said please tell it in Finnish, and then yeah. they make the translation. So, but but not in this um, this application case application yet. Yeah, I would I would I would really send a message to support support at now dot site and ask them to for the feature request and ask them to add that. Thank you so much. Thank you're you. welcome. Thank you for being here today. Okay. A DM Associates. That's not really a first name. Let's see if we can get your question. I, I know I'm Dorothy Mays. Uh, Hi, Dorothy. I, my picture <laughs> up there, and I can't show myself this morning, so I apologize for that. No, that's okay. um, but I have a question. Um, you just showed how to change the objective or how to add an objective, like for yes. the birthday. Uh huh. Well, how did you get that to change? Because I don't show that option. Okay, so that was the one that I just went over with Vinny, and I'll do that again here, and and I'll go step by step, so it, it hopefully it'll become uh, a little bit clearer for everybody. Okay. So when we first start out, you're going to be on the very home page, and I'm sorry my computer's running so slow today. So you're going to come over here to reach to your followers, number three. And then when you come here, do not touch any of these top ones up here. And you'll automatically see birthday down here under objective. As long as you didn't touch any of those types of messages above, you will see these. Now, this is what happens usually. Usually we're excited or we want to press buttons. And so we'll click on comment on a social post. And then all of a sudden, the objectives are not there. Or we click on reach out after someone likes my posts and the objectives are not there. Or we reach on cold outreach. And if we do cold outreach, the objectives are present, connect, follow up, book a meeting, close sale and things like that. Well, there's no birthday there. So if you come over here and you don't see that, that probably means one of these was actually activated. So just come back over to your home screen and then... And maybe we need to make a suggestion for an extra button in there that's just birthday or personal or whatever. So it just always keeps it up there. But once you press on that, as long as you don't press on any of these top ones, you'll see these objectives of birthday, anniversary, congratulations, supportive, condolences, uh, reconnect, and other down here. Does that make sense, Dorothy? Yes, it does. I missed that step where you don't click on one of the the links at the top because I was kind of like following yeah. along on my computer. And so I missed that step. The other question that I had though, is a lot of times when I did my um, uh, AI persona or whatever, yes. and I put in there what I liked and so forth, 
now anytime, because I do travel and real estate and things like that, and I also had a heart transplant. So that was some of my personal information that I put in there. So anytime I do a post, a lot of times it'll either mention the travel, the heart. If I do something that's grateful or thankful, okay. then it'll mention just like my heart transplant. And I don't always want that to be in there. Right. So, so what I would do is I would make different profiles. So what mm -hmm. I did to correct this, because I had that same problem. Okay. Yes. Uh, because I was, I was doing some classes on breaking fear and insecurity so people could build their businesses. And then all of a sudden, every single post was just talking about fear and insecurity. And I was like, whoa, okay, hold on. That's not the only thing I ever talk about. Okay. And, and it was frustrating, right? Well, what mm -hmm. I found it, that it fixed it is I came over here to my business profiles mm -hmm. And I made some different profiles. So some of these are just demos for this demo account, but then I made my transformation coaching one, but mm -hmm. then I also made a personal one. And so what you could do is since you have that personal one in your AI, you, you've got a couple of things that you could do. You could make a business profile or a profile that doesn't have any of that information in there and utilize that. The other option that you have is you could come over to train my AI and you can take some of those things out of there so they're mm -hmm. not in here anymore and then make a profile that has those things in there when you want to use them. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's stop sharing screen and let's go over to Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Hi, how are you? I'm wonderful. How are you today? I'm doing incredibly well. Thank you for asking, Elizabeth. Um, I did do a post and on the birthday, if we're still on post or are we on question and answers. Sure. Because, okay. Yeah, you did what? a post. So you want to I, showcase your post? Yes. Okay. On the birthday. And I'm on the Maddie McPherson on okay. Facebook because I don't know how to put the link in there. Okay. Maddie? I follow you, but I couldn't connect with you as a friend. Mm -hmm. Well, we better fix that. Okay. Maddie McPherson. Let's see. I'm going to share my screen, make sure I got the right one here. Okay. And all right. Goodness, my computer is just running. I'm going to have to reboot my computer. Is this you right up here? Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add you as a friend as okay. soon as I get this opened up. There we go. So I just make sure I don't forget that. And then we can connect. Oh, great photo. I don't know why that popped up, but that is a beautiful photo. Thank All right. You. Now, is this your post right here? Yes. Birthday for my okay, grandson with you today. Oh, he's handsome. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yesterday marked another trip around the sun for my grandson, Kyle. Reflecting on the day, it reminds me of the joy in simple moments and the importance of cherished family ties. It's moments like these that fuel my mission to enhance the quality of life for all. Let's not wait for another birthday to realize the preciousness of now. Maddie, this is gorgeous. I love this. This is a fantastic post. Thank you. My question about it is, now the AI gave me family first, cherish every moment, and inspiration. Okay. Hashtags. I added hashtag health is wealth and a new life today. I'm trying to find out, am I doing that right with letting the a new life today? Well, I'm in the uh, health and industry, health and wellness business. Uh -huh. So are those good hashtags to be there? Or are they inappropriate? No, no, they're fine. The hashtags are fine. Uh, the only thing that you want is that you need a space. You see right here where it's blue and then it goes to black. Right. You, you really need to make sure that there's a space in between those where the hashtags are. So they actually all activate. And what's going to end up happening is that the, the hashtags you make, you want them to either be directly you or something where other people would look or giving a description of what the post has meaning to you. So like, let's click on inspiration. If I click on this hashtag, it's gonna give me the recent hashtags or the recent posts that are about inspiration. So I'm gonna be able to find other inspiration things. Now, you know, that's a pretty general 
hashtag. So some other hashtags that you could do is health is wealth. That's great. Um, and really, people aren't probably going to look, if anything, up based on health as wealth. But it does so into the post of what it is you are trying to get across. And uh, so you can use hashtags for a couple of different things. First, you can use them to be tagged with other things. When people look up that hashtag, you are amongst the people that are pulled up in that. The other thing that you can do, though, is use them as descriptors or more things of what you want people to get from the post. And I actually do both. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. That okay. was why I put that, uh, added that on there, but I did it incorrectly. Okay. Yeah. Just make sure, just go back in and edit and then just put a space in there in between the two other hashtags and they'll activate out. Okay. And so when we get to question and answer, we'll, I'll do the question, other part of the question. Oh, we're at questions and answers right oh, now. So okay. you have another question? Yes. On yesterday, I put in the question, should I have a business page? And ah, you said yes. we would address that today. Yep, so. absolutely. Okay. So there's two things with business pages. When when Facebook first started doing business pages, so I've been on Facebook ever since you had to be actually at a university to have access. So you had to have a university ID to have access to Facebook when it first started. So that's how long I've been on Facebook. And so as it's evolved, then they came up with business pages and business pages were amazing back then. The problem is, is that Facebook realized that they weren't making any money. And so now they want to make money on your business pages. They're a business, right? And so with the business pages, the problem that you're going to run into is as you're working your business page, in order for people to really see that, you're probably going to have to pay and boost your posts. And I'm not a person who loves to pay a lot of money when I can do something that I don't have to pay money for and get, the, and get even better results. So for me, let me share my page. And I'm going to kind of show you what uh, what the two things are. Now, with Higdon and stuff like that, like Ray Higdon and stuff, if you're that level, yeah, a business page is going to get a lot more traction. They're still going to boost posts and stuff like that. But for me, almost all of my success has come from personal pages. And I turned it into a creator page now. And so what I'm finding personally for me is that turning my personal page into a digital creator page, I have gotten way more traction. I've gotten more um, more in the algorithm without having to pay the money to boost like I would with a business page. So you could do a business page, but keep in mind that if you want people to see it in the algorithm, you're probably going to have to boost and pay for that. But the other thing that you could do while you're building it is even if you don't boost, you can continue to get followers on that page or likes of the page. I should say not followers, likes while you're building on your personal page and build that up at the exact same time. But just keep in mind that if you're trying to build strictly with a business page, you're probably going to have to pay money to boost your posts for people to actually see them. Does that make sense? It makes sense. And um, I did not create one simply because I think it was um, Ray Higdon or some other person, because I'm in his rent makers, yeah. that says that um, a business page was not necessary because then you're trying to build two places at one time. But right. then recently I've been in some networking groups virtually and then they'll say, well, when people are looking for you, they're looking for a business page and that my page was too personal, that I had my family on there and I shouldn't have them on there. I had me and my husband there as a backup page and, yeah. you know, the way it is. And they're saying that was too, was not people yeah. just only know me for personal. No, you know what? I would 100% disagree with that because honestly, the the kind of, uh, and it really depends on what you're trying to build. I'm building a tribe. And if you're in rank makers, you're trying to probably build a, a network marketing business in a tribe. And yes. so with that tribe, when people get to know who you are as a person, they sign up with you because of who you are. There are tens of thousands of people who are reps of your company, you know, and when when what what highlights you and makes you different i can make a business page and i'm like i'm just this business person and, and everybody's going to be like yeah that doesn't mean anything to me but when i showcase what i feel what what's important to me my lifestyle you know the friends that i have the thankfulness the gratitude all of that 
people will much more be readily available to have a conversation with me because I look like a real person that's not just trying to sell them. I look like a person that they want to connect with. And so I would wholeheartedly disagree with what that networking group is saying because I have built massively successful stuff all with personal pages and all by creating real relationships and building my network with real relationships. So that would be my recommendation. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. You're welcome. And everyone Matt. for the kind comments as well. Yes. Thank you for being here today, Maddie. Thank All you. right. Well, I have a hard stop now. So tomorrow we'll have a new training with a new idea of how to use the AI system. So again, you will not want to miss that. Uh, we do this at 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Pacific, every Monday through Friday. Remember, Cheryl's got a great training for you starting in about 10 minutes. So you'll want to come back to nowsite.online. She's going to give you the overview of the entire system, email um, and all of that. And uh, the email system, the websites, everything that NowSite can do. Remember tomorrow, we do have a big announcement. Justin's going to be here with us tomorrow. And he has a huge announcement for everybody. So some major changes going on. So you won't want to miss that either. So have a great day, everyone. I love you guys dearly. Remember to friend me on Facebook or follow me, whichever one that you want to do. Happy to connect with you on there, on Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, all of those different things. And uh, and when you friend me, it makes it easier for me to see your posts. So if I see something and I can reach out to you and say, hey, you know, you may want to do this. Done that with several with you. So if you'd like that kind of support, just let me know. Love you all. Have a wonderful day. And I'm excited to see your posts tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You. Have a great day. Bye. Blessings, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. And thank you, Debbie. That means the world to me. <laughs> thank you, Elizabeth. Thanks. Have a great day, everyone.